Hi, my name is Sydney Schiffner. I am the oral seeds technician at the Land Institute. And uh, my job is working with the perennial oil seed candidate that we have right now. It's somewhat similar to sunflower, it's called Silphium. Um, it's got many heads right now, but we're hoping to reduce those and increase the number of seeds each head produces. And I guess the main three components of my job include one, uh, taking care of plants in the greenhouse, making sure they're getting pollinated properly, and uh, just making sure that they're getting watered properly and everything. Uh, two is field work, which is where we weed out in the field or we have various activities in the field that I need to get to, such as maybe applying certain beneficial insects or other treatments to stop diseases or insect invasion. Um, and then the third component of my work, which is uh, spreadsheet work and data analyzing. Now I'll head you over to the greenhouse to talk with me again about what I do there. Today, I'm lucky enough to be able to work in the greenhouse all by myself. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes during quarantine times. But during today, I'll show you that I am pollinating some selfs to try to get successful selfing, as well as pollinating some head thinning plants. So to pollinate these selfs, we want to cover them with bags to ensure that some other bumblebees or little pollinators that might actually be flying around the greenhouse don't accidentally pollinate the flowers that we want to make sure are just being pollinated by their own pollen and I've taken a plant down here from the bench and as you can see when we open up the top there's a lot of bright beautiful flowers in there so once I get this off here You'll see that even within these bags, flowers are still produced from the sylphium plants. And then, using these little pipe cleaners, which are our substitute bumblebee butts, we are going to dab on the pollen produced by these little anthers, which you can see here and then make sure that it gets on the outside of the flowers, aka the stigmas, because these plants have the reverse flower physiology of sunflower, where for sunflower, the male florets, which produce the pollen, are on the outside of the flower, and the female florets are on the inside of the flower head. So, Gonna keep doing this until all of these little flower heads are pollinated. And as the seed heads mature, the outside petals kind of fall off and hopefully seeds are developing in there. We really don't have a high successful selfing rate with silphium. So we're also trying to figure out whether or not these plants will be able to self over time. So yep, after I get done pollinating, typically just close up the bag and go to the next ones. And now I am pollinating these flowers within the greenhouse because we don't exactly have bees right now, so they need to be pollinated by people. And the way that we do this is kind of just, oh, so hard to do this one handed, um, stick a cup under this flower that has kind of, you can see the two layers in there. In the bottom layer we have all pollen, and on the top we have kind of these little florets that are on the inner part of the flower head. And so what I do is I scrape the pollen off of these anthers into the cup, and then the florets fall into the first cup, which has little holes in the bottom of it. As you can see, now shake it around, shake, 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 get the pollen in the bottom of it. And then what we end up with on the bottom, pure pollen that we then use to pollinate. You can see I've got a little bee butt attached here. We use it then to pollinate the edges of the flowers to make them then make seed. I'm Sydney here again. 
Um, I'm outside today working with Jared, an intern, Blaze, another intern, and Eric, who's working the camera. I don't know if you want to wave at the camera at all, Eric. There he is. <laughs> um, and today we're weeding annual wheat out of Silphium. Some of these wheat uh, was volunteers. Since this field was a wheat field last year, we seeded, or we actually planted Silphium into it this year. And hopefully this year it'll go from kind of these little rosette structures to bolting and really, really tall, like what I showed you guys in the greenhouse with the flowers and the crossing and the pollinating. So, and then we'll use these plants in the future to select for more yield characteristics, such as larger seeds, uh, more feminized heads, meaning that increased feminization leads to more seeds per head, and maybe shorter heights as well, because that'll allow for easier harvesting, other types of agronomic traits such as that. So. Lastly, like I said, I mainly work on spreadsheets now and kind of making sure everything data-wise is kind of coalesced in the spreadsheets at home. This is actually in my personal apartment, and this is in my second bedroom that I've somewhat converted into an office. It's still kind of messy because I only moved in a while ago. <laughs> um, but it does have a window, which is really nice, as well as a little plant to keep me company. So... Yeah, here's where I do a lot of my data analyzing as well as kind of spreadsheet compiling in these crazy times. So if you have any questions, feel please feel free to contact the Institute.